intervention is so important. The Sebastian County District Court has given 45 people a new chance at life, with hundreds more working towards an alternate sentence. <laughs> Teresa Hacker of Fort Smith is one of them, graduating from the program today. I was off of the alternative sentencing and I took it, um, didn't even let him finish explaining to me what it was about. I knew that's what I needed, that's what I wanted. I had been looking and seeking for help and didn't for so long and didn't even realize a lot of the times that that's what I was doing. Depending on the charge, the judge will offer the offender the option to take drug and alcohol counseling through Harbor House or take 40 hours of adult education classes, which can range from English as a second language to GED testing or even computer skills. All of these programs do not cost taxpayers in Fort Smith additional funds. For those that stay in the program, they're given the opportunity to get on a better pathway and become more productive citizens. It's a, it's a win uh, for the individual as well as the system. Starting next Monday, April 1st, second and third DWI offenders in Sebastian County will now have a specialty court to appear in where the alternative sentences will be offered. These individuals will hopefully co correct their alcohol or drug habits and keep them off the streets as dangerous drivers and perhaps hopefully the end result will be that they've turned their lives around. Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.